AI has captured imaginations, and obviously it is going to be part of our lives in one way or another. But in some way, I'm going to argue most of the important decisions about AI are ahead of us, not behind us. I think techno-optimism in AI, techno-optimism in climate is our worst enemy because it is essentially a way for us to stand back and not take any action, especially when there are very obvious choices that are problematic. In the context of AI, that techno-optimism has been what has enabled the US industry and in some extent in other places as well to become unregulated and to assume an enormous amount of power, and it is being amplified and multiplied over the last few years with the generative AI advances, where you have reports from McKinsey, Goldman Sachs, uh, or every week an article from The Economist magazine, New York Times, saying how AI is going to transform our lives, completely minimizing the problems and completely exaggerating the speed with which AI is going to play out. There is good AI and bad AI. First of all, what is AI? AI is nothing other than an information system. It is the information technology par excellence. Its capacity is to take vast amount of information and summarize it or filter the relevant parts of it. The irony of our current age is that information is abundant. Everything you want and a lot of things you don't want are on the internet but useful information is scarce. AI facilitates imitation and learning. AI can become self-improving. So AI improves the innovation technology. It's not just that you automate uh, the production of goods and services, you automate the production of ideas. So you improve the innovation technology. And as such, it can be a source of permanent growth increase. You see what I mean? And so far, the studies of AI have not looked at how much can be gained on the production of ideas. The big problem with AI for me is not so much the technological limit, it's the fact that institutions are not appropriate. If you don't reform competition policy, you, AI, instead of becoming a growth booster, may become an impediment, a growth hinderer, you see, a, an impediment to growth. So we need to adapt to, uh, competition policy. 